everybody, this is Karen. Welcome back to our channel called Our House. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I organize my kids' binders for the Robinson curriculum and how I organize my binder as well. So, let's get to it. All right, so let's start with the children's binders. Each one has their own. Okay, so right away we have the RC Weekly assignment record and I will post a link in the description below if you are interested in printing this out for yourself and it's got you know six days here of work the lesson number completed problems number of errors was it corrected yes or no and how long it took the child from what time to what time then here we have for reading again the six days we have the book number which is the number on the Robinson list what number the book is however we also have title so if you're reading a book outside of the list you can just write it in under title here and how many pages were read from what to what. And so it's double-sided here on the back. I have writing, and it's again the six days. What type of writing was it? Short essay, report, poetry, copy work, other, and was it edited? Okay, and last but not least, we have vocabulary. And again, what book number it is, the words that they reviewed, pronunciation, spelling, and then review words. Obviously this, there are many different ways that you can do this, and I'll go over that in another video. Okay, so after that, the next thing is, each child has their own list of the Robinson curriculum books. And the purpose of each child having the list is so that they can see where they're at. They put a check mark after they've completed that book, so that's really handy. And then after that, we have graph paper. Now, I really love graph paper uh, when it comes to math because especially when they're starting out, they know to put one number in each block. And so it keeps it really tight and organized and easy to see, easy for me to look at, easy for them to correct themselves. Um, so yeah, especially when they're doing division or multiplication problems with you know two rows, several digits, this is super helpful and I just buy this at the dollar store. After that, they have a notebook where they keep their vocabulary cards or their math flash cards that they make their own or that I print. And so this is just a handy place for all that to go. And then we just have paper for their essays or poetry or whatever they're writing for that day, just regular paper, um, their journal. And that's really it. For my son, he has his flashcards that we're gonna cut out and I'm gonna do a video on how we're gonna organize this and do the, the math cards every day. And that's really it, it's really simple. Now here's my binder. I keep here a folder where I put all my kids' drawings and doodles and artwork, notes, whatever they make for me. Uh, once a year, I put them away in storage, but throughout the year, I collect them in a folder here. Then I have my complete zero, list of zero point foods for Weight Watchers, very handy. I have the originals of all the forms, like the assignment, RC assignment form there that I can make copies from. Just some other little things that I might wanna do. We do a memory verse, a chapter with our church, and we just finished Ecclesiastes 11, which is why this is blank. I'm waiting for the next chapter, and then I'll print it in large print here for us to study. And then I have my own list here, and I keep track at a glance of every child that has read every book. So I have E's and I's, and this is an easy way for me to keep track of it. And I also like that it tells you what disc the book is on so that I can go and print it easily. However, I'm also going to do a video on the online version because that is a total game changer. Okay, and then here I have the Robinson Curriculum Vocabulary Exercises, and so it tells me the number of the book so that when I go to print those vocabulary cards, it has a number on the flashcards, on the, on the vocab cards. So I know when I see four, those are vocabulary words for the life of George Washington. Right now we're doing, uh, our hero General Grant is one of them that my daughter's doing. And so that's it, really simple, just like we like it with the Robinson curriculum. It's just a place to organize where they, where they are in the list and some paper for math, paper for writing and a place to keep vocabulary cards or math cards. 
Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That lets me know to do more Robinson curriculum videos and I do have a lot of ideas for those, so stay tuned. And also more for um, wonderful ways to be a family and other family blogs and uh, family vlogs and things like that. Don't forget to check out our blog and also our Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.